What is going on, my friends? My name is McKinsey, and this is the Flow Mingo Show. Hello, Mingo. So now that it's 2021, I've decided I'm going to switch up the format of the show a little bit. Instead of sharing anything and everything, I'm going to stick to the top 10 cool links that you need to check out. So let's kick things off. Countdown from 10. So number 10 was Basecamp. So this is a what they call a boutique IT recruitment service. So overall, the site is fairly simple in terms of the content, but the illustrations and the uh, parallax effects and the animations and stuff they have on this site really give it a ton of life. So when you land on the homepage, it has this really vibrant, beautiful illustration. And then as you scroll down, there's this nice subtle parallax effect. And then I really, really love the illustration style of these different badges. And then all the illustrations have a subtle parallax effect to give it like a nice shift as you scroll. Uh, so the illustration style plus the colors that they picked plus the uh, very subtle interactions make this a really, really nice site. So you should definitely go check this one out. So you can go to thebasecamp.asia to see this one for yourself. Okay, next up we have a site called Time Slot. This one's actually a little bit old. It was done in March of 2019. I just came across it myself. I don't know how I missed it until now, but the interactions on it are so cool. So what I love about this is once you start scrolling down, all the pictures come together and then congregate inside of the iPhone. And then everything changes as you scroll through the site, basically walking you through how the app works. And then once you get to the bottom, uh, the pictures pop out again and then stack just like they were on the hero uh, when you landed on the site. I think this interaction is so good. Can't believe I missed this, but you should definitely go check this one out if you haven't seen it yourself. It's timeframe-app.webflow.io. All right, next up we have Plink Webflow Rebuild. So Andrea, I actually mentioned her other rebuild, the pitch site rebuild in the last episode, but she did another one of the Plink site. It's really cool to see her re doing these rebuilds, not only getting practice and leveling up her skills, but also just showing off what's possible inside of Webflow. So the site is super dope. It has a awesome animation when you land on the page. So if I refresh, uh, things pop out and then this like little rocket thing shows up. As you scroll, everything pops up. There's a ton of interactions done on this site. I really like this scan and go section. It changes the uh, color of the text and then shows like this little QR code and then it pops up when you hover over it. Super well done. You should definitely go check this one out. I believe she made it clonable as well. Yes, you can clone it. So to check this one out, go to plink-rebuild.webflow.io. And of course, I'll add a link to the Webflow Showcase version if you want to clone this in the description. All right, number seven, we have Magic Mind. So this site, I picked it for the design. It is, oh, I really love the bold strokes that they use in combination with the gradients, as well as the 3D graphics of the product itself. It doesn't really have any scroll interactions or anything as you scroll through, but the design is beautiful. It has this very subtle like paper-like texture in the background. The typography on it is absolutely beautiful. Actually, what type font is this? Circular STD. Love it. Super cool. The colors are fantastic. Basically everything about this site, I just really love. This site is absolutely beautiful. I definitely recommend going to check it out. Go to magicmind.webflow.io to see this one. All right, coming in at number six, we have Webflow's 2020 year in review. This site is so much fun. The Webflow team really went all out on this. They added so many cool interactions and illustrations and made it just super playful, super fun. The design is beautiful and basically just walks you through uh, the stats over 2020. So over 400,000 Webflow sites were made last year. 20 billion visitors. Is that billion or trillion? I think that's billion. 20 billion visitors, 58 million assets uploaded. That's insane. $23 million in goods sold through Webflow e-commerce. That's super cool. It talks about some of the top clonables, the top projects, the top templates. There's so many cool things to check out on this. So definitely go check this one out. Go to webflow.com slash year dash in dash review 
2020. And of course, I'll add a link in the description so you don't have to type that out yourself. All right, next up at number five, we have Father's Day Virtual Car Show. Uh, this one is absolutely beautiful. The design is super fun, super playful. It's got a ton of Lottie animations and interactions that just makes this feel super polished. So as you scroll down, you can see all the cars available to vote on. If you click on one, uh, you can see like interior pics, info about the cars, comments. You can vote on the car if you like that and want it to win. I really, really dig this one. Uh, you can go to carshow.cclb.org uh, to check this one out. All right, coming in at number four, we have Doodle Strudel by Pablo Stanley, which is not just fun to say, it is actually super useful if you are an artist and need an idea on what to sketch, what to draw. This site basically just uh, generates ideas on what you could draw. So you can click to generate an idea, or if you find one you kind of like, you can swap out um, any of these just by clicking on it. So an adorable wolf with a bun running on the couch with geometric shapes. I don't really love on the couch, on the moon, but that's good. With a beanie, with an oversized sweatshirt. So you can swap out all the different parts of this to come up with an idea of what to draw. All right, so you can check this one out by going to doodlestrudel.com. Try saying that five times fast. Doodle strudel, doodle strudel, doodle strudel, doodle strudel, doodle strudel, doodle strudel, Can't do it. All right, coming in at number three is Juno. I picked this one because I love the design. The colors, the composition, the typography, it's just, mwah, it's so good. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this site was the How It Works page. Particularly when you get down to the How It Works section, they have this uh, cool interaction where this part goes up and then this part goes over. So as you scroll through, this part moves up and then it basically just shows you like how it works by just like walking you through it. All right, I have seen a bunch of horizontal scrolls on websites before, but this is the first time I've seen one that moves vertical and horizontal at the same time. It just adds a little something extra to the site. I think it's really, really well done. You can check this one out at withjuno.webflow.io. All right, coming in at number two, this one I picked purely for the interactions. Uh, it has so much going on. So when you land on the site, you don't scroll down, you actually scroll up first, which is super interesting. But as you scroll through, things are moving, things are changing. It basically tells you the story of 368, uh, the agency. If you don't know who 368 is, they've done some really cool stuff like uh, Project Turntable and some others. Uh, they do really fantastic work. Once you click into our values, I thought this section was kind of crazy. You basically just move your mouse around to like wander around and you can actually go through and collect all the different stickers. So you can go to tseculture.webflow.io to check this one out. All right, then coming in at number one, this might be the coolest Webflow site I have ever seen. It's called Inside the Mind of Samuel Day. So when you land on the site, it has a welcome screen and then the curtains open. It's very cartoony, very, very retro -y vibes. But as you scroll through, it's very funky and uh, takes you through like different things. It's like cool and creepy at the same time, but the interactions on it are absolutely insane. And then at the very end, you can pull a cord to drop a bunch of weird ball guys that follow your cursor around. <laughs> I can't, I can't even imagine how long this took to set up and build all these interactions. There's just so much to love about this site. So many weird, funky, cartoony things. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not the most practical in terms of use and navigation, but it is super cool. And the fact that it was built in Webflow just makes it even better. So yeah, that is the first Flamingo show of 2021. I hope you enjoyed. Again, all the links are in the description if you want to go check out any of them yourself. A big thank you to Webflow for sponsoring this episode. And of course, if you come across any cool Webflow links or if you're working on something cool yourself, please send it my way. You can find me on Twitter at McKinsey Child. Feel free to tag me or DM me there. But yeah, that is all for this episode. See you in the next one. Peace.